Hi everyone, Marauders here again and I had some new developments with the whole USB charging of the Acer Iconia W4 and i like to share it with you here. Now first of all, let me just uh, demonstrate one of the questions that we were asking the in the previous video was that can the is there anything special about the char the Asus charger? So here I have the Acer. This is the Asus charger, and this is my Dell Venue 8 Pro's charger. So we'll just use it to charge the Acer. But as we already know, a dedicated charger like this should not have any problems at all. So you can see that it's charging and it's drawing 2 amps, roughly 2 amps from the elf current so okay so we know that there is nothing really s there is well the, the special thing about the charger is that it's a high current charger but other than that there's no special wiring or, or of any sort in it now so that's for the actual chargers so we need to get to the point of these battery can your can the Acer Iconia W4 be charged by this battery pack? Now I already mentioned that with a even with a charge booster which would which would rewire the connection to make the tablet think it's being charged by the de dedicated charger, this didn't work. So let's just repeat the experiment one more time. Plug it in and we turn it on. So it's drawing a current almost 1 amp, that's quite high of normal consumption, but it's not charging. So that was it. I thought this this is it. It won't charge from battery packs. There's just something absolutely different about the dedicated chargers like these, and even a charge booster wouldn't help. Well, that was before I decided to try my other charge booster. Now, this you can see this is slightly bigger, and when we connect it in. It's a bit different. It actually has a light. You can like turn it on and off. You can turn the boost mode on and off. So when it's when the light is lit, it has boost mode. Now I always thought that the charge indicator was basically by shorting the two data pins of the USB connector. You can go check it out on Wikipedia for more information on that. But of course, there is also another charge charge specification which it delivers a bit more some special voltage through the actual data pins and I actually don't have a real multimeter to measure that right now so maybe if I find that out I'll try it next time but the, the moment we all been waiting for I am now going to plug this in It's drawing 1M and hmm, it's not charging. This is strange, but I just did the experiment previous the other day and it was charging. Okay, let me give, give this a try again. Ah, here we go. That was interesting. Okay, as you can see now, it's actually drawing more than 1M already. So previously it was drawing less than 1M, but now it's drawing more than 1M. And if we look at it, it is actually charging now. But that was interesting, which means that if I turn the battery on first, and then connect it in, well, now it decides to charge. Okay, so that was a fluke, but in any case, the the takeaway from this is that with these charge boosters 
aren't actually equal so they are actually different types of it now if you're wondering where you can buy this this is actually what we call uh, I guess you can call this an OEM product the so it just just comes out of China Shenzhen or something I've seen a lot of other similarly designed charge boosters even though it's not under this brand name so it is possible you just search for charge booster online on the internet and just see wherever there's one that gives you gives you something that looks like this and it should probably work don't go for the so called dumb charge boosters which doesn't have a button or light go for the one that does have a button and light now is that a confirmation of whether it would charge from the battery pack? Um, I would have to say this is a very conservative yes since it is actually charging it is actually charging and although we do have to get some equipment but well it, it really is charging then this is what we are this is what we are mostly concerned with it is doing a proper job of charging from a battery pack now if that one thing to remember is that the battery pack needs to be able to provide 2 amps because that's what the current draw for the for the Acer is if you decide to use something that doesn't provide 2 amps so I have an old inner loop here this thing is only providing 1 amp let's see what happens Okay, I'm gonna plug it in. So you can see it, it turn. I turn it on and it flickers off because again. Now that's because this battery pack can only deliver one amps. So it it disabled itself after when the when the current draw was too high. So you must remember to get a if you're gonna do all this, get a battery pack that has a high current rating. Hmm. Well, let me go try the small little one since that one said it was two amps as well. I think. No, nope, this is one amp. And so, and that's it. So. The summary here is that if you want to try and charge your Acer Iconia W4 with this battery pack, you're gonna need to have some sort of charge booster and modify the circuitry so that the, the Iconia W4 will actually think it's being charged by an adapter. And you need a battery pack that is able to provide the current draw that's necessary to charge it. So you need to get a 2 amps one. Okay. Hopefully that solves this whole charge issue of this whole charging issue. Okay, see you guys around.